Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out stamped images using the Brother Scan and Cut. The stamped images we'll be cutting out are from the Blended Season stamp set. This is a two-part stamp set by Stampin' Up! There's very large images and beautiful scripted sentiments included. So as you can see, it says Clear Mount Stamp Set 1 of 2. So then this is part of the set and this is two of two. It's blended seasons and it has lots of lots of great stamps for coloring, using the blends, watercolor pencils, etc. It's part of a bundle called Color Your Season. This bundle is only available until August 31st, 2018. That's why I got so excited about it and I said I better do a video while my crafty friends can still order this product. Now, if you're like me, you if you saw something like this, you might go, oh, okay, I'm not sure. Well, I actually didn't order it because that's exactly what I thought, even though I was able to pre-order this set a while ago. It wasn't until I won this set at my team meeting, we had a raffle in the end of the meeting and my name was called. And I was like, oh, cool, I won a, like a two-part uh, stamp set. And I, then I actually found out that I won the framelits as well. And I had already bought the watercolor pencils, which, is lim which are limited edition. So I was like, hmm, okay, well, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'll give it a try. And then they arrived, and I'm telling you what, it's an, it's an incredible, incredible set. I just couldn't believe how easy they were to cut out with the Brother Scan and Cut, and how easy they were to color. So prior to this video, what I have done is taken one of each of the images and I've stamped them onto Whisper White cardstock using Memento Black ink. Okay, so they're, they're one, two, three, four, five, six, six images. These two are very large, like this is actually one stamp, even though they'll cut out in separate pieces. This is one stamp. This large floral pattern is one stamp. Then the rest are sentiments. So you have 12 stamps in the sentiment. Um, what else What else I've done is I've used painter's tape to tape. My mat is not very really sticky. We, you heard me say that before. This It might feel a little sticky, but this paper was slipping earlier when I was cutting. So I used painter's tape okay, to, to hold the mat into place. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you turn on your scan and cut is load the mat. I need to do that one more time and hold. When you load the mat, be sure to keep one hand on the mat. <laughs> I'm not even sure about that. I like to make sure it's totally loaded in straight. All right, great. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to scan. Now these are images that we're not going to save. We're going to use direct cut because we're going to directly cut out the images for, that we just stamped onto the paper. You can use this technique, by the way, for any stamps that you may have. Okay, and then it's asking where do you want to save, like this is just temporarily save. Um, they're not going to actually be saved, but let's just, you select the machine, always select the machine. And then you're going to use black and white recognition mode because these images have really clear, well-defined lines around them. If, and if they, if they weren't, you could go into another mode called color recognition mode, but we're going to leave it with black and white recognition mode. I'm going to go ahead and say start. And now we're just scanning in the image. And just to save time, I've only, I've only stamped one of each image. But I've actually done many of these earlier, and while it's cutting, I'll be showing you my projects and the rest of this limited edition suite because I'm super excited about it. And, it, you know, looking at the photo just doesn't do it justice. All right, so then after it scans in, you say OK. And you say, wow, that's pretty good, right? I'd say pretty good success rate. So now you just go and you just select the area you want to you cut. I mean, I think almost everything was selected. Okay, I'm just going to zoom into that area. Now, we can get rid of that piece of tape by going in a little bit. Actually, or I can get rid of it in editing mode. Let's first of all add an outline distance. Okay, let me show you what I mean in case you're new to my channel. Okay, an outline distance is that I'm not cutting right to the edge of the stamped image. Let me put down the stamp sets. I'm holding all the stuff. Put down the stamp sets for a second. Okay, the outline distance is I'm not cutting right on the edge of the line. I'm, I'm having a little outline distance around the stamped image. 
So this is where you select that. You go here and you say, I want an outline distance of 0 0.04. Okay, and that'll give you this, this nice outline around your stamped image. Okay, next you want to say okay. And then I, I see that almost everything was selected except for one leaf. So what I'm saying is in this case, in this particular, not all the leaves were selected. I need to zoom in to show you. Go into editing mode and I'm gonna zoom in. This is good, that's good, the bell, the holly, the floral pattern. When you get, the bell is good, but when you get down here, only the stem of this leaf was selected. So therefore, I'm not gonna cut that stem out because if I do cut the stem out, I will have wasted this image, which I can cut out later. Sometimes something's not selected on one part of the mat, but later it'll be selected on a different part of the mat. So you always wanna make sure that you delete any extra stray bits if you didn't get a whole image selected. All you need to do is it's already selected in red, and if it wasn't, you just toggle through the selection and select the object you wanna delete. This is toggling, these little arrows. If it wasn't already selected, I could toggle through and select the piece I want to delete and just hit the trash. So that means I'm not cutting out a partial leaf. Later on, I can cut out that leaf. It's no problem. I'm going to say okay. Before I cut, I just want to tell you that when I cut on Whisper White's cardstock, I usually use a blade depth of four, but my blade is getting very dull. Brother Scan and Cut makes pretty good blades compared to if you use a Cricut, but in this case, it's getting dull. They, their mats are not very good, but their blades are very good. I've used it so much. I had to go to four and a half recently instead of four for Whisper White. So blade depth of four and a half, but you, you check with your machine and do a test cut. And if it doesn't work on four, then go to five. And, and if it works really good on five, go back to four and a half. Never use a blade depth higher than you need to. And then I'm going to go ahead and say cut. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to say cut and then I'm going to get started. And then I'll move my machine away so it doesn't make quite as much noise. Okay, it's gonna take two minutes. Oh, we had, we had already said cut. Okay, we're just gonna say start. Ooh, I don't like my crafty friends to miss any steps. I, I didn't really need to do cut again because I had already done cut. So we're just, gonna, we're just gonna say start. Now, when I first, even with painter's tape, the first cut, I always just sort of give it a little rub. And it's not like good luck, it's more like friction, <laughs> creating some heat so that my, my stamps don't slip. All right, now it's time to show you what I've cut out with this. And then I'll show you how I've colored some. So first of all, this is what they look like cut out. And I'm putting them on black background so you can see them. I'm already gonna be using these bells for a wedding card that I'm making. And I'll show you my, you know, the process of how far I've got along with that. So. Basically, uh, my, my advice is to just mass produce and cut out a bunch at once, and then you can do things to them. Very good success rate. Only, an, and a whole page of Whisper White cardstock, I only would have like one that when it cut out. Okay, next I wanna show you something else. And that is it's almost done cutting, so you're going to hear me better. Oh, thank goodness. It's done cutting. I'm going to show you these, and then we'll go back to getting them off the mat. These are ones that I cut using the Brother Scan and Cut, and then I use the blends to color them in. So as you can see, you just really need to color images like this because they, they just pop so much better. I'm just using Whisper White cardstock and, and alcohol blends markers. This is Flirty Flamingo and Gable. Let's see. Hold on. I, I'm saying so bad with color names. Granny Apple, <laughs> Granny Apple Green, and Flirty Flamingo. I used those the most today, but then I used, uh, this one would be Cherry Cobbler and Old Olive. This is Cajun Craze. This is that same color again. This is that Granny Apple Green. I'll put that over that side. This is Daffodil Delight, Cajun Craze, and this one is Mint Macaron and Highland Heather. Okay, so these are, these are, Images that I've colored with the blends. Let me just hold them there for a second because I want you to see this paper. This paper is amazing. It's in the Toil and Trouble suite, which is part of our holiday catalog. This paper is called Black Foil Paper. 
and it's going to be coming out in our holiday catalog September 5th. Okay, so if you're interested in a holiday catalog, please let me know. I'll have a link for that. Okay, so there's, there's what happens when you color them in with the blends. I have other coloring examples, but first, let me finish the tutorial because that's why you're watching this video because you want to know how to cut out stamped images using the Brother Scan and Cut. So let's finish that part and then if you want to stick around, you can see the rest of this limited edition suite and what you can do with it. So the paper, before you remove the paper, I always just sort of go, wow, was that blade depth enough, you know? And it was, see, okay. And if, if the blade depth wasn't high enough, then what you could do is while the mat is still in the exact same spot as the scanned, as you scanned it, then you could cut it again. But all you need to do, it says finish cutting. You're not gonna miss any steps. You say, okay, you unload the mat. You say, okay, and then you just move the machine away and you peel off. You can either peel it by bending the mat a little bit and peeling off your stamped images or you can use your little spatula. Okay, so there's, there's your stamped image. Okay, once again, Whisper White with Memento Black because I used blends. Then I decided though, let me do some other fun things with this suite. Again, this is called Color Your Season Suite and it has more than, more than just the um, stamp set. Okay, so with the stamp set, just so you're on the same page, I just showed you how to cut out the stamped images using the Brother Scan and Cut. There, are, there is a coordinating die set but unlike other coordinating die sets with Stampin' Up, this one doesn't actually coordinate with the stamps. The only one that does is this one here. This one here is the one that would coordinate with the bell. Okay, so you see that? Most times you get framelits or thinlets, they coordinate with the stamp set. This one doesn't coordinate directly with the stamps, but that's okay because if you're watching this, you have a brother scan and cut, and if you don't, please use my link to get one. But my point is, here. here's my point. You just take all of these, all of these stitch seasons framelits and you just cut them out okay as is I didn't even use the belt I just cut out all the rest of them this one here is fantastic the stitch seasons I didn't even know how amazing it was until I cut it out because it actually stitches on both sides I hope the light is good you so see you got stitching on the inside okay and then you have stitching on the outside. So what you can do is take the reverse. So you've cut your, you've cut your framelits and then your reverse, you can use this for a card because it has nice stitching around it. In fact, let me put this on, where's my black background? It's better to put this on a black background every time so you can see that. So there's stitching again and then stitching on the inside. And if you saw my Toil in Trouble sweet video where I show you 10, uh, 12 projects you can cre you create with the Toil and Trouble Suite. I cut this out with that black foil paper, these these framelits, which is just from the Stitch Seasons. They're just fantastic. So all of these look good on their own, and I'm going to show you what I did. I took Whisper White cardstock, because that's what you have. You always use what you have, and I decided to cut those out. And I'm going to show you my result. So this is cutting them out just directly. No stamping. How cool. So that's this, this framelit here. You just cut this out and you have little embellishments. And I just colored these two in with the blends. That's it, so simple. I'm gonna embellish this wedding card that I'm creating right now with these little flourishes. Okay, here's some other things I did. Okay, now these ones I just cut out directly onto Whisper White cardstock, but I used the limited edition uh, watercolor pencils. Okay, let me grab those to get closer. Okay, here. This is the limited edition watercolor pencils. If you already have a set of watercolor pencils by Stampin' Up, you, you might not know about that we have, this is called, this is the second set. So this is called Watercolor Pencil Assortment 2. Again, it's only available until August 31st while supplies last. So I've had these for a while, but I got these before I even thought of getting the blended seasons. Actually, I didn't even think about getting the blended seasons. Like I said, I want it. But I'm telling you how awesome it is because I think you're going to want to buy it if you see what you can do with it. But there is there are all these little pencils and um, I used some aqua painters and some uh, a blender pen and I just sort of I just sort of colored. These are so easy to color. And what's nice when you use watercolor markers as opposed to blends is you can get this this sort of like mixed effect. So this is 
the two colors are for this one are crushed curry and Cajun craze and that's what I use for the leaves and I just I mean in minutes I, I made all these flourishes the bow the leaves so I'm using these for later some fall autumn projects so, so stay tuned and watch my blog for the autumn projects and all these little flourishes I'm using for that wedding card I told you about that I'm in the middle of making so let me show you some of that some more some more of that let me here let's put these on here okay and here is the makings of my wedding card I'll be putting the finished wedding card on my blog but we have these little colorful doilies and they're already flirty flamingo so then I decided to take this beautiful sentiment congrats and add one of these flourishes that I cut out of the the stitch seasons framelits okay this this right here I did nothing there's no stamping I just cut it out and I just colored it and I'm gonna add that to there maybe with some dimension and that'll be on the front of the card congrats and then when you open up the card after I add my bells and my bows and things on the outside of the card when you open up the card it's gonna say wishing you all the best okay so these are these two sentiments are from the stamp set okay so congrats wishing you all the best and it's very versatile you have Merry Christmas I mean you have I just miss you I mean you're the friend everyone wishes they had thank you I mean this is great and and it, I just you just don't know how great something is until you mess with it and play with it or see someone else do something with it now here's what I did for this one these these little stitch seasons framelits I cut out a bunch of them and I've already used them as tags for Halloween projects and you may have seen that but then I said hmm let me just fold it in half and use it as a tag topper okay so what I did for I just took this little this frame was it this one was it the next one it's this one okay and I just took it and I scored it along the middle and then I folded it but what's really nice about when you have the stitching on the edges you can either sponge around the edge or in this case I used an aqua painter and I just used this marker this watercolor hold on one second again granny apple green granny apple green a little watercolor around the edges of this and and if you've been watching my videos I cut out these witches hats the bats with the brother scan and cut I cut this one out with the spooky bat punch I cut out the cauldron with the brother scan and cut I've shown all this on the videos before so this is a tag topper I didn't finish putting the candy in it yet all my candy's gone right now at the moment but that will be a tag topper and it's so easy to create with these stitch seasons framelits okay so what you have limited edition by August 31st is our stitch seasons framelits blended seasons stamp set and you can get them as a bundle and save 10% and watercolor pencil assortment those are the limited edition products by Stampin' Up okay and also this month August 2018 if you're just tuning in is dollar days dollar days means that for every $50 you spend you get a $5 coupon to use next month well next month happens to be the launch of our holiday catalog so this is a great month to take advantage of dollar days that's what I'm doing I'm gonna save up my dollars and then I I'm gonna use them next month uh, for other products okay so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this please let me know what your favorite one in the stamp set is what your favorite image is mine is the floral for sure this one super super awesome that's my favorite okay and um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and check the description notes because there I will put links to my Stampin' Up! store where you can get these products for yourself Bye for now.